Hi everybody, Dolores here with another edition of Sweeping Saturday. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, judging the weight um, of a thrown rock as a sweeper or as a brusher. Um, if you are playing front end on your team, then that's the majority of your game is uh, judging the weight and brushing the rock uh, to help it get where it needs to be. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today. So the first thing to remember when you're getting ready to brush a rock is that you need to stand uh, near the hack or near the thrower uh, so that you can have a conversation with the thrower. And there are a number of things that we need to talk about. The first thing is that both brushers and the thrower need to understand what the shot is. So usually uh, what we like to do is have the person who's in the hack getting ready to throw the shot, just confirm with the brushers that they know uh, what that is. So everybody's on the same page because as a brusher, you might look away and not see the skip call the shot. Since you're brushing it, it's really important that you know um, what the shot is. So we're going to draw to the eight foot. Okay, so the thrower says we're going to draw to the eight foot. Now the brushers are on side with that. The other thing that we need to discuss is um, on this path of the ice, what's the ice going to do? Have we thrown any rocks down this path? Maybe not. If we haven't thrown any rocks down this path, then the ice might be a little bit slower. So somebody needs to verbalize that just to remind the thrower that they may need to give it a little, more, a little bit more weight than they might normally if this was a well-used path. Um, the other thing that we need to confirm is which one of the sweepers is going to have their brush closest to the rock. And we also need to understand what um, we'll call it the goodness is. Uh, so if the rock is a little bit wide or a little bit narrow, or, or a little heavier light, what's the good miss? So I might say uh, when I'm in the hack getting ready to throw, it's okay if we're a little bit light here. Yeah. So as the sweeper, I understand that over sweeping this rock would be really bad and under sweeping it might be a little bit better. So if you're not gonna make the shot perfect, which is the best way to miss it? Looks light, looks light. So there were a number of things that I took into consideration when I was determining that that shot was light. One of them was I was watching uh, Janet's pullback to see how far she was pulling back in the hack. I was also watching how quickly she transferred her weight from behind the hack to in front of the hack. I was walking beside her so that I could gauge how quickly she was sliding. And I was also watching her release to see if she was going to add uh, to the rock or maybe pull it back. I was watching for her balance to see if she might have wobbled or lost her balance and put weight on the rock, which would indicate that it might be a bit light and I would have to sweep. So these are all things that you really need to be um, down by the hack to see and observe to help you determine or help you to give you a starting point um, to know whether or not the rock is going to be heavy or light. It's light, light, halfway. Halfway. So between the first cone and the second cone, at that point, I want to go from a heavier light, like I did from release to the first cone. Between these two cones, I want to be a little bit more specific. So I need to let the skip know, is it a guard or is it in the house? If I can be more specific than that, great. But I need to commit to it's a guard or it's in the house between the two cones. Light, halfway, halfway. It's long, it's a two, two, two. So between the second cone and the hog line, that's when I need to get a little bit more specific. Um, so I was saying that it was halfway, it was a two. Um, that's what I thought it was between the uh, second cone and the hog line. I was a little bit off, but once you get past this hog line, then you need to get really more specific. So once I was past this hog line, I could have said top 12, top eight. You're gonna change your mind many times through the course of your sweep, and that's okay. One of my favorite uh, tips I like to give to people about judging weight, especially if you're a newer curler, is that the speed with which you are moving down the ice is the same speed with which the rock is moving down the ice. So I always say, if you're going really quickly, so's the rock. 
and vice versa. So use that as a, as a starting point when you're thinking, I'm not sure what I should say. Compare it to how fast you went with the last rock and it'll give you an idea.